sometimes a procedure calls for separating a solid from an aqueous mixture. When you want to collect and study the solid, especially quantitatively, then filtering is an appropriate method. First, you want to make sure that your filter paper matches the size of the funnel. You're going to fold it in half and then in half again. Tear off one corner. This will help the filter paper lay flat against the funnel. Then pull one side out to form a cone. Now you're ready to put it in the funnel. And then you want to wet the funnel slightly with some distilled water, again to help the paper lay flat against the side of the funnel. I've already got this one prepared. You want to make sure your mixture is well stirred. And then place the stirring rod across the top of the beaker at the lip to help guide the flow of liquid. Holding that stirring rod in place, you're going to pour the mixture into the funnel. Then rinse any remaining solid with distilled water and pour that in. This may take a few rinses. Once all the liquid is filtered through, then you can remove the filter paper with the collected solid and allow it to dry. Now sometimes decanting is an appropriate method, especially when quantitative study is not required. Decanting is simply pouring off the top layer of liquid, leaving the solid residue behind. In this case, you want the solid to settle to the bottom of the beaker. And again, putting the stirring rod over the top to guide the flow of liquid and holding it in place, you simply pour off the top layer of liquid into another container. So none of the solid gets transferred. You may need to leave some of the liquid in the beaker. So there you have two methods of separating a solid from an aqueous mixture, filtering and decanting.